Okay, so in this video, we are talking about the code series and the chapter is the intro gate. So in this video, we will talk about add two digits, largest number, candies, sit in the theater, max multiple circle of number, let write and phone call. So let's just get started. So the add two digit, um, sorry, so add two digit is we need to return the int since the answer is, is type in and what we need to do is we s split the each digit to individual so 29 you will split 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 to 2 and 9 right so l the only way you can do it is you can mod like 29 mod 10 you get 9 and then you divide by 10 you get 2 so the idea is pretty simple equal to 0 answer equal to answer plus n mod 10 n divide by 10 so let's just run it correct so another way you can use plus equal but the answer should be the same and the time and space uh, time is all of n like the number of loop and space is all of one so the next question is largest number you are going to return the exact n digit and then the lar largest number uh, in the n digits so you will still need an answer and return answer so if n equal to 2 you will get 99 so what I would do is I keep the keep decrement the n but multiply my answer to ten plus nine. So well n is not equal to zero. So I decrement right? But before I decrement I multiply type by ten plus nine. So when n equal to one, if n equal to one, the largest number is nine because 0 times 10 is 0 plus 9 and when I decrement right then n will become 0 then we don't we don't do the loop again but when n equal to 2 um, 0 times 10 0 plus 9 so the first 9 you decrement n equal to 1 right here so 9 times 10 is 90 plus 9 and then you decrement the n so n equal to 0 so should be so simple so correct so time and space complexity complexity so for the time all of n number of the loop and and space is of one so you get idea and the uh, question is can this so you have n children and then they do need to get the same same candies yeah yeah each, each child must eat exactly the same amount of candy as they as any other ch child so for example 10 and 3 right which is, which is you need 10 divided by 3 and you will get 3 but the answer is the number of the candy you given so you can actually think about it like when m mod n is equal to 1 then total candy minus the mod is actually candy you give to the children so you can return the number mod n uh, simple way to do like this is have a parenthesis Okay, so the uh, time and space, all of one, all of one for both, because you don't have any loop, and think about it, like, it's pretty simple. And sit in the theater, so, okay, the story I don't want to read it, you can read it, so, you are going to return the number of the row in the column, uh, I mean the seat behind you so when you sit here 
you will block this viewer and you have to return the numbers so you need to get the column from here from here to here and get a rule from here to here but you also have to make sure you don't want to mess up with your indices so the indices does matter so if column is 16 and the and the position column you see is 5 so 16 minus 5 right is 11 but you need to you need to include in your column so it's going to be plus 1 because when you minus minus your position column you actually uh, starting from here but uh, you have to include your include your column your sitting column so it will be the multiplication for return n columns minus column plus yourself time okay since we don't need to include in our rule uh, in this picture so we can just say number of rule minus the minus the rule I sit so n rules minus rule should be simple okay go on the next max multiple so divider bound and find the largest n and you you definitely need to get divisible by the divi uh, divisor and less than n I mean less than boundary and n is greater than zero so what I want to do is I can start from the boundary and well my answers is greater than zero I just keep looping so since I started from the highest so I can so I have to decrement if something is not working so if my answer ma divider equal to zero I can just return answer so you when 9 okay I start from 10 and 10 doesn't work because 10 mod divisor is not equal to 0 so I decrement so when it's equal to 9 9 mod divisor equal to 0 then I return the 9 so st if you want to st if you want to start from the smallest you can start from the 0 and to the boundary so the value does change but you, the question is ask is asking the maximum Okay, the next one is circle of number. So when you sit sit at position to you, the uh, the person you s you can see uh, opposite side is seven, right? So um, I I do need a, a variable to st to store the half of the half of half of people so 10 divided by 2 I got 5 people so 2 plus 5 equals to 7 and what happened to 9 plus 5 is greater than 10 right so you just have to mod so if half plus the, the, the person number if this is greater or equal to is it greater or equal to n since we start from the zero, right? So if this is greater or equal to n, then we return half plus the first number mod n. Else we just return the half plus first number. So when this valid, you want um, you want to mod mod the n for the people. If not, you just uh, return the value, the sum of it. So, yeah. Alright, pretty simple. And then time and space, all of one. Yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. Both of them are all of one. And then next is let write. So, okay, I'm not gonna read it. So, basically, when you change to the 24 mode, you just add each individual digit. So we practiced that before. So 
in hours equal to um divide by sixty minutes equal to um mod sixty. So twenty four divided by sixty equal to four. So there are four hours since it's divisible by sixty. So the minute is zero. But what happened to eight oh eight? Eight oh eight does have fourteen uh thirteen sorry thirteen hours thirty uh twenty eight minutes right so I need to get uh to one plus three plus two plus eight plus fourteen uh, plus eight equal to fourteen so I need to say int n so equal to zero and I just decrement decrement the hours And the answer just equal to hours mod ten. Send as the minutes. <laughs> so you return the answer. You should be sim uh fam familiar with the. Uh, with the solution because I just called similar stuff before so you get the hours and minutes and you do three and when 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 you get the digits for each hour and you just add it and when you add you add a minute uh, minutes as well so the time and space is just often like because the number of digits okay so phone call so first minute you get a minute one second second minute so, sorry it's not second from second to ten uh, minute you cost minimum min to ten and after that you get min eleven so you have this you have this amount of money and how much sorry so how long sorry how long you can call, right? So how much money you can actually have? So I need to keep decrement my money, right? So if my s minus minus one greater or equal to zero, if this valid, then answer plus plus because uh, each minute I increment. So, but I also have to decrement my uh, amount of the money I have so I need to be aware if my s minus 1 is less than 0 I need to return the answer if this doesn't uh, if this is false and I go on the second minute then I need to loop right uh, not a second minute second from second minute to the 10 minutes so when when I do through it, zero to nine is ten, right? Uh, two to ten, so minute two to minute ten, and similar stuff. I need to decrement the money I have and the increment the minute I have. So if and I need to check if my s minus minute two. Uh, less than zero. I need to return the answer because some sometimes uh, the minimum min two cost is greater than min eleven. So I mean the name they give us is not pretty good. But if this is problem, when this is this cost is greater than this cost, and in if we if we don't have this statement. Then we we'll, then we will keep looping, but the problem is we don't have we don't have enough money for the second minute to the tenth minute. How do we keep looping, right? So the last loop is going to be uh, s minus minute eleven less squared equal to zero, then decrement this and answer plus plus. And what I should do, I just return S. So I'm going to submit to see if I have error. Oh, I do have error. 
So cancel this. Return answer. So starting from the beginning. So if this is valid, check return. Oh, I have a problem because when I decrement, right? I need to also. I have to check if I'm if my money is still still greater than equal to the still greater than equal to zero other than that I will have no issue so if this is valid then I can subtract if I don't have this statement and when I subtract I will get below to zero and then my answer will keep incrementing so I made a mistake right here but it's okay okay so go to refresh again so I, ha I have a minute the counting minutes which is my answers and I need to check if, if my if my first minute is valid because this is cost right the total money I have minus the first minute cost is equal to greater or equal to zero then I add the minute and I subtract my money and I check if my money uh, is less than zero or not and send as the second minute to ten minute. I also have to check my pocket, my wallet, to to see if I have enough money to to, to decrement. If I don't, I just break out and then I return this. If I do, I keep decrement. And send as the last one. And then we we'll just keep seeing if I have enough money. If I don't, I just keep decrement. So for the space is all of one. For the time, um, I would say all of n is the worst case, and the best case is that all of one. I uh, you need to look through the entire cost, and then the number of, of minutes is actually so random, random. So it should be the worst case all of n, and other than that, the phone call is not a hard questions, and I hope you get it and peace out.